Security does matter, and believe me, it does, even if you don't see it now. Today, I'm going to talk about how to force multi-factor authentication in your AWS account and let your employees configure their own credentials. So you don't need, you don't need to go through everyone in your company and tell him, please do MFA or enable MFA. Now it will be like that. If your employee doesn't enable his MFA, he will not be able to use any service in AWS. My name is Zidane and this is Daily Task. So what I'm gonna do now, I will create a policy that doesn't allow user from doing anything except enable his MFA and changing his password as well as get his session token. And then I will add this policy to the developers group and then I will test this policy with you. So let's do that. Now I will go to the AWS console and jump to I am service. I am already in IAM service, but let's do it from the start. Go to policy and then I will create a new policy with JSON. I have created the policy uh, this policy doesn't allow user from doing anything except changing his password, get session token, enable MFA and create virtual MFA device and get user for his user list MFA devices and so on. So it's limited access only that can enable him doing some stuff. So I will take that copy and put it here. And then let's name this force MFA. And I will create this policy, create policy. And now the policy will be created. Now we will go to group and in group developers, I will attach policy and I will choose force MFA. Force MFA. I will attach this policy. And now let's create a new user and add him to the developers group. So I will create add a new user. Let's name him, for example, ZDL and AWS Management Console Access. Next, I will add him to developers. Next tag, preview, and create that user. We wait. Now the user has been created. What we need to do next, I will log in with that user. And let's see how does it look like. I will go to the login page and add my username Zidane and let's copy this password and sign in. First thing it will ask me to change my password. So I'm gonna change my password. I will enter new password, confirm the new password, and confirm password to change. Now I have logged in. What the user can see now, if we go to any surface, he have access to EC2, right? So if we go here EC2, he will not able to see anything because he he doesn't assign MFA, not yet. If we go to IAM, he will not able to see anything because he need to assign MFA first. So we need to go to our security credential, my security credential, and assign MFA. 
and virtual MFA device and I'm using Google Authenticator so I will scan this barcode scan barcode and I will add two consecutive numbers the first one is nine six nine six nine zero eight the second one will be five one six one two three and assign MFA now we assigned the MFA what we need to do next we need to sign out and sign in again sign out now I will log in again and let's see if we can see the EC2 or not I will type it in and enter my password and let's sign in now it will ask me about MFA so I will enter the MFA from my Google Authenticator 227037 and submit now I am in the console I will go to EC2. I have an instance in this region, so we are supposed to see it because I have full access to EC2. One instance, and it's here. Now we did it. We have forced our employees to enable their MFA. Not only that, they also will do it by themselves. So, let's review what we did. We created a policy. We added the policy to the developers group and we tested it. And it works as expected. But if you are using AWS CLI, this will cause a problem for you. But our job is to fix or to solve our problems. So we solved it and we have even automated it. But that might be another task. So stay tuned and subscribe.